It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Seattle Seahawks. And it's all up next. From the picturesque Pacific Northwest and the city of Seattle, welcome inside Lumen Field. All the 12s make it at home for the Seahawks. To the booth, everyone. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson, all set for a good one here. Greg, this is one of those interesting things because you talk to both coaches, they scheme, plot it all week, and the question becomes, who's got the plan that's going to fit against this other team? Well, that's always the question. I think if we really got honest responses from some of these play callers in pregame, I think they're not even quite sure. Everyone goes in feeling really good about the weak work. They feel really good about where they are from a game plan perspective. But now, can you adjust? Can you find the elements of that game plan that are best suited for having success in this given game? That's the key. The veteran kicker, Greg Joseph, will get us started here. And off we go from Lumen Field. On the return, it's LaVisca Chanel. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The Seahawks come on, and that means it's Vito Smith. What a story he's been. Real turnaround here in his 12th year now in the NFL. Came out to Seattle, backed up Russell Wilson the last three years. Greg, he has been the starter, and he runs this Seattle offense now. You just can't say enough about Geno and his turnaround over the last couple of years, Mike. I mean, many thought he was destined to just be a career backup and just play out the rest of his career. And when things didn't play out at first, instead of just listening to those doubters, he just kept working on his craft. And next thing you know, he gets an opportunity with a new team, makes the most of it, and he's now solidified himself as a bona fide franchise quarterback in this league. Terrific starter there, gain of 15 and a first down. And we met with these coaches during the week, Mike. They told us the emphasis this week about getting the run game going early. And we see it here. Nice first play pickup. Fresh set of downs. Room to run past midfield. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. They are cooking to begin this drive. This play going for 30 yards. There's a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. This one is complete to D.K. Metcalf. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. These were the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game so it took just three plays but just like that they have first and goal on the bootleg it's Smith they'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play and None of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode. And it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment. And he had no choice but to throw it away. Hard running close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him just short. Trying to cash in on this opening drive. Here's third and goal. They'll run with Walker. And he will not get in the defense. Standing their ground, pushing him back. And it sets up fourth and goal. Well, this seems pretty straightforward. Third and one, just dial up a run play and run straight downhill. But this defense had other plans. They were ready and expecting that run. And... They're able to take the ball carrier down for a loss. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the 
the Seahawks will take a 3-0 lead. You know, they did a lot of good things on this opening drive, Mike. I know they stalled out once they got down there into the red zone. They're going to need to work on finishing some of these drives as this game moves along. But that's a good three points to start this game. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. Now return coming from the seven. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Giants led out by their quarterback, Daniel Jones. Here he is in year six in the NFL. He was the sixth overall pick back in 2019 out of Duke. And Jones still at the helm for the Giants. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from the opening whistle. Now the former Bill and Texan Devin Singletary. Fighting off defenders here. He'll churn forward and pick up three. Second and seven. Shotgun now for Jones. That's to the rookie from LSU, Malik Davis. 13 yards on the catch there. That's good for a Giants first down. Really nice play there by Malik Neighbors. And when we talked to the head coach, Brian Dable, what did he tell us? He said, I need more competitive guys. I need guys that are going to go out there and compete for the ball, play in and play out. And remember, Mike, this is a guy that led college football in yards per game last year at over 120 yards receiving per game. So they got themselves a pretty special talent here in New York. And I think we're just scratching the surface. 19 more on that one. And another first down. Nice job there, getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. First and 10 now from the 36. Up the middle, here's Singletary. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Come up on a second down and eight. In the gun, it's Jones. That is called in at the front. And he's in. One Dale Robinson. Touchdown, Giants. This is a great example here, Mike, of an offense and a quarterback that is just in complete control and rhythm. Not only is he able to deliver this ball on target downfield, but the accuracy is what allows his receiver to stay on his feet, pick up the remaining yards after the catch, and walks it in for a touchdown. Here's Greg Joseph for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants move out to a 7-3 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, it's Chenault. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. The Seahawks offense ready to get going with their second possession. A trail by four, touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten.
This drive starts on the ground with Walker. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Once again, it's Walker. And some good blocking at the point of attack. A pickup of seven, and it brings up third down. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. Working out of the gun, Smith. for a Seahawks first down. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Play action now. It's Gino. That is not the way. Complete good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. They'll run here with Walker. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. He's going to look deep here, looking for Rocket. That one is batted away, incomplete. No separation that time, tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. The Giants offense ready to take over for their second possession. Philippe sits at four. So we'll try to... Add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Jones. Throw left side, but that's going to be incomplete. Malik Neighbors, the intended receiver. It's second down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. That's complete to the tight end, Theo Johnson. They get 12 yards on that pass. First down. Giants. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. He looks forward for maybe a yard. The linebacker Jerome Baker there to make the play. Here's second and nine. Throwing now is Jones. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Third and nine. On 
play action, it's Jones. Open man is Robinson. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. To return is Williams. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. The Seahawks offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll begin with first and ten. From the gun, it's Gina. Outright Smith and Jigba has it. He's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. Third and six. From the shotgun, Smith. That is caught. He finds Walker. They gain 18 yards on that one. First down, Seattle. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. And think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. But I don't think it's going to be his last. On first down, here's Gino to throw. He'll get this to the very tight end, Noah Fan. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. On first and 10, here comes Walker. And he'll bring this inside the 30, a gain of about five. Keep it on the ground and keep it with Walker. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. So they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. It's the Giants leading this one early. Greg and I back in the great Northwest in a moment. They'll empty out the backfield and line up for third and three. From the shotgun, it's Smith. yards on the game and now they've got first and goal I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive Mike I mean it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance and now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal they'll have to go the full 10 yards it's first and goal here's Walker 
Some room to run as he takes it down to the two-yard line. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. So, as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. From the two now, here's second and goal. Carbonet going to try to pull his way in. And he'll go down, back at the four. It makes sense on second and goal, Mike, to keep this ball on the ground. You always have third down again to finally punch it in. But now after the defense forces you backwards, I think you have to consider putting this one in the air here on third and goal. From the gun on third down, Smith. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. Here, the ball is thrown short. The idea is get the ball in the hands of your playmaker and let him pick up the rest with his feet. But you know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete. Brings up fourth there. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. So Myers back out there at the field goal a moment ago. Now set to kick this one away. On the return, it is Tyrone Tracy. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. Their lead is just a point. As they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Singletary to begin this drive. Trying to shove his way forward, but brought down after a gain of a yard. Here's a second and nine. To throw is Jones. Now a screen to be set up for Singletary. Good-looking screenplay there. A gain of 11 and a first down. The relationship between the back and the offensive lineman is now the key for the run-after catch. You want to make sure those linemen don't get too far down the field where they can't help protect the back. So once the running back catches it, there's a go-go call. Now everyone knows it's time to go downfield. The running back falls in behind them, and that's the landmark of the screenplay. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Anytime you're playing zone defense and everybody's eyes are on the quarterback, it's really easy to lose sight of some of the receivers. That's exactly what happened here. He started all the way on the far side of the field and worked his way across. Found a soft spot in the zone, and quarterback's able to put it on. Here's first and ten. Singletary now on first and ten. And he'll bring this inside the 30. A gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run once more with Singletary. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. 
The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. With some success here early on the ground, we'll open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. Very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. Jones to throw on second down. He pulls it in around the five. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike, and what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run. He's got his big tight end. Daniel Bellinger. Touchdown, New York. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Giants will take a 14-6 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Williams on the return and he'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive out comes the Seattle offense as they get ready for their next possession but deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten Now for first and ten. On play action, Smith. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was seeking the veteran Tyler Lockett there. And it'll bring up second down. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged a bullet here and... They're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. Smith will give it to Charbonnet. And he'll manage to pick up about four. That's Bobby Okereke there for the stop. Here comes third and six. Smith net. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. 
Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. That's going to be out of bounds, no return, and the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. The Giants' offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and ten. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Again, it's Singletary. And he's going to pick up the first down. That's a nice run taking it up past the 30-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. From the 32 net, it is first and 10. They'll go back to Singletary on first down. saying you want to play wide receiver in the NFL Mike how well can you change directions how fast can you get your body from one direction to another and when you can cut like this guy I'm not sure how you guard him. from the 35 it's first and 10 now a play fake Joe We'll get that complete right side. It's Bellinger. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. You can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. On play-action, it's Jones. going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. Jones to throw on third and one. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently. Not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. And he's not going to get there. The defense was ready for it. And they stuff him on fourth down. And the running back just has nowhere to go. There is no crease. There is no seam. you got to give credit. That defensive line overwhelmed the offensive line. And that went a long way to forcing that fourth down stop. fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Smith to throw. To the outside. Catch made by Brown. And no 
chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. That's complete on the tight end screen. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. Now a run with Charbonnet. And he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. That's on the veteran guard, Lakin Tomlinson. to get away they'll knock him back to his own territory they get him on the other side of midfield two minutes remain here in this first half we're back to Seattle after this work to do now as they come up on second and long working out of the gun Smith with the tight end that's back this has been bizarre from second and a mile a huge game but still short of a first down and this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line but they can occasionally split out in the slot and man they're too fast for linebackers and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs the screen works for 10 yards and a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And... After plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play... It's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. Smith and Jig the left side. He's got it. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Smith from the gun on third down. The Seahawks are looking at a first and goal. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Here's Gino. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. D.K. Metcalf. Touchdown, Seahawks. And a big score, Greg. They continue to get points, but 
after not getting touchdowns, this has to feel really good to this offense. It really does. And I think anytime you can build on your confidence that now you know the rest of this game, you can finish these good drives. Coming away with two field goals, those are wins for the defense. So now a win for the offensive side of the ball. And got to see now if you can keep this rolling throughout the rest of this game. Jason Myers on to attempt the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Seahawks move back to within one. time final minute of this first half we'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way he'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25 yard line the Giants offense running back Devin Singletary back on the field they'll start out first down and 10 Jones to throw. They'll try to set up the screen here. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game. But I like in this case, the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screenplay still in the back of their head. That's caught over the middle by Johnson. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. This one's been all you could hope for as an NFL fan. Just a one-point game here at halftime. This has been as much fun as you could hope for with both these teams in it to win it. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. I think we're going to play a big role in who wins this one. Certainly a tightly contested first half, and you'd expect more of that here in the second half. A one-point game as quarter three begins. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. The Giants offense and Daniel Jones ready to get going once more. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. Here's a first and ten. And the gun, it's Jones. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Jones operating out of the pistol. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. Shotgun now for Jones. Into the hands of his receiver, Hyatt. He's going to have the first down, and that one 
Good for nine, and the drive continues. to Singletary on the zone read. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. They'll run straight ahead with Singletary. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. They'll run. It's Singletary. He'll maneuver his way down to the 32. Rayshon Jenkins, this time on the stop. First down away to the 26-yard line. And here's third down. Throwing Jones. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there, the sack that might take them out of field goal range. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. The Giants sending out their puzzle. He's on for the second time to try to get something inside the tent. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. There's DK Metcalf, he, and the Seahawks offense set for their next drop. The deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. Set to go now on first and ten. The tight end fans in motion. Play action now. It's Gino. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. Big start to this drive with a gain of 26. The best guys I've been around. Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. It just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Here's a run inside, and it's Charbonnet. In. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy. But if you could have two or three that could all come in and contribute on the ground, that's the goal, and we're seeing it here. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline. 
sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. And the struggles in the running game continue. They take him down behind the line. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Get that one to Charbonnet, complete. It'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. So it's going to bring up fourth down. So they send out Jason Myers for this field goal. This from extra point range, a 33-yard field goal attempt. Job number one on this drive, find a way to get the lead. They, of course, would have loved to score a touchdown, Mike. But three points here, that's a pretty good consolation prize as it moves them out in front. So Myers back out there at the field goal a moment ago. Now set to kick this one away. He fields it at the eight. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense about ready to take over once more. They trail by two. And we'll start this drive with first and ten. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. He'll come up now for second down and four. On the give, it's single tear. Riding off defenders here. He'll churn forward and pick up three. Third and a yard. Motion man is high. He'll try and run for the first with single terror. And the driver stay alive. He's got the first down, up to the 44. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did, pick up the first down. Jones, we hang on to it here. And nothing cooking on that one. He'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage. The decision whether to keep the ball or to hand it to the back happens so fast. In this case, the quarterback thinks it was a keep read. The defense was there ready to stop him. Tackle for loss. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better field for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's Jones. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is a pass that just needs to be completed, Mike. The opportunity was there. His guy was open. They ran out of room a little bit there on the sideline. Couldn't quite get the ball up and down fast enough and ends up being thrown out of bounds. They try again. It's second and ten. 
Here's a run with Singletary. He'll work his way forward for about three yards. Draymond Jones able to bring him down. Here's third and seven. To throw. It's Jones. Now a screen to be set up for single count. That screen goes for 12. And that's a first down. The job of the offensive lineman is the key piece to a successful screenplay. They have to balance this fine line between stopping the defensive lineman from getting to the quarterback too quick but also let that defensive lineman think he's got a free rush at the quarterback. That's the balance and the timing that made this play so successful, and they're able to pick up the first down. So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Johnson the timing of these RPO concepts that's the entire key remember Mike different than the college game these offensive linemen they're blocking for the run but if that ball gets pulled the pass option of the play they're not allowed downfield in the college game they get a three yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass that's not the rule in the NFL and he'll take it on in Malik Neighbor. New York. You know, Mike, at this level, not all touchdowns are created equal. There's some plays that result in touchdowns, and then there are touchdown strikes. And this one is the latter. I mean, you talk about a confidently thrown ball on the money downfield. It doesn't get a lot better than this, and his receiver is able to take it in for six. is Joseph for the extra point. He's got it. And the Giants will up the lead to five. Seahawks offense and Geno Smith getting ready for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They go play action with Smith. zone coverage it could be a little bit tricky remember in zone the defender's eyes are on the quarterback so if your receiver doesn't sell that right and this ball's not thrown on time you're gonna end up watching that defender take this thing back the other way to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. 
Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. The tight end, Fant, in motion. On play action, Smith. That's deep for the back of the end zone. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Could have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball's over 60 yards in the air, and I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if... In trouble, and down he goes! Kayvon Thibodeau, former fifth overall pick, in there to drop him. Through the first half, it was clear. This pass protection, this offensive line unit, they were clearly up for the challenge. The pass rush was non-existent. But here in the second half, you can sense a little bit more urgency. You can see them start playing with a little more speed and intensity, and it pays off there with their first sack of the day. The Seahawks sending out their punt team. A fair catch called for and made just beyond their own 50. The visitors' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And you have to imagine the defense is saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run rough shot through him to this point in the third quarter. They'll come up here, first and ten. Now, Singletary. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no gain. This one taken in by Hyatt. And it'll be brought down on uh, what will be the final act here in this third quarter. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. On third down, here's Singleton. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line. And fourth down is coming up. Third and short, and you come up with a big stop, taking the ball carrier down for a loss. Now you put yourselves in a position to hopefully get the ball back and give your offense a chance to go down there and take the lead. The Giants sending out their punter. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Seahawks offense ready for this next possession. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here. They'll begin it with first and ten. They'll go play action. It's Smith. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play. Winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass. Because that quarterback, 
He put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and he's able to secure a really nice catch. The tight end, Fant, in motion. On second down, Smith. That pass reels it in on the right side. First and ten. They'll motion over Metcalf. On first down, here's Gino to throw. On the move, past the 40. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. How often do we see, Mike, the running back, they get a little too antsy and they go a little too fast on these screen plays. In this case, great job by the back. First, he let his offensive lineman go out. He then follows behind. That's the key to a good screenplay. The tight end, Fant, in motion. Smith to throw on first and ten. He'll get this complete to Walker. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. going to slide to a stop and avoid the contact, but since he started there, he's still shy of the first down. Well, give him some credit. Initially, that looked like it was going to be a sack. He's able to escape the pressure and get away, picks up a little bit of yardage, but at least he avoids taking that shot. They'll run. So the biggest thing that stands out here, Mike, is the fact that the defense just continues to pursue to the ball. Every defense focuses on get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible because if the guy in front of you, he misses the tackle or he falls down, you have to be there to make up for it. And the pursuit to the ball is not only how they're able to get him down, but it's ultimately how they're able to take the ball away. The visitor's offense getting set to get back to work. They'll have a long field ahead of them as they start first and ten. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. What a moment in this game. A touchdown would give them the late lead. It is first down and goal. Working out of the gun, Smith. He's got it at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Trying to push the pile forward. He didn't even get to the one-yard line. They stop him short. No game. The thing that stands out to me about this defense, Mike, is they just make you earn everything. They don't concede any downs. You see it here on this last play. Great job here. No game. Force third down. They'll run with Walker. And this time, he's in. Kenneth Walker. Touchdown, Seattle. 
So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down. Taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown. Yeah, and when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in, but he only needed one. And the Seahawks with another big moment. They'll try to add the two-point conversion here. Here's a design run. And he is not able to get to the goal line. So they stop him and up, up the lead up to three. It remains a one-point game. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Tracy now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. to be effective on first down like it just makes everything else easier in the event you do have to face a third down down the road they're usually a lot more manageable situations a lot easier to convert Jones keeping this one and some good footwork there he'll take this forward for a gain of eight Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. They'll come to the line now on second and two. They'll run here. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. It has a similar effect. They pick up a good game and a first down. Here's first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. And he finds a little bit of space. They'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Now, Jones. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up. Like you can see, he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. Big play coming up. This is third down. Jones. Taking off. He'll try to get there. This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why, as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. On first and ten, here's Jones. He has tight, complete, and he'll be taken down. 
That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows everybody in the huddle to just take a deep breath. We're no longer in this frantic offensive possession. Let's get our best play. Let's make sure everyone understands what to do because we know we need to finish this off with six if we can. And now being first and goal is going to go a long way in allowing that to be possible. So the field goal here gets you the late lead. God, I think you want six when you have it first down and goal. He'll get a yard or two to the eighth, second and goal. Second and goal. Back to throw is Joe. This one caught at the four. For the lead, here is third and goal. From the gun, it's Joe. He will fight his way to the end zone. Daniel Jones. Touchdown, Giants. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him. And in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Here's a big moment for Big Blue. The Giants are going to go for two. He's going to keep this, looking to do it on his own. And he will get into the end zone for the two and extend the lead to seven points. So a big change here. They go from down one, score the touchdown, add the two. Now they lead by seven as they kick it off. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Well, Seahawks offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly making the right read seemingly every time. They'll come up for first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Smith. He'll throw it left and has his running back. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play. But put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. So just under two minutes here in this one. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. They'll drop to throw. They'll try to set up the screen here with Walker. That screen goes to 12. And that's a first down. Well, after that conversion, now the conversation on the sideline is, what do we do if we score? Are we content with just kicking an extra point and tying this thing up? Or does this coach decide to go for the two-point conversion and try to win in regulation? First things first, they're going to have to score, but, man, I hope we get to see that decision. Connecting with the tight end. That's bad. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down.
Here comes second down. From the shotgun, Smith. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. From the gun, it's Gino. try to win it I think I'm kicking the extra point here tie the game I don't want my opponent in a fast two-minute mode to try to win this game in regulation now I'm playing for overtime so they're not level yet a critical extra point attempt to follow the extra point is good a big one as we are tied late in this football game. Tie game. Still time to break that tie, though, as you see. Maybe run a two-minute offense. And the kick's in the air. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Giants offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And it's hard to believe you can run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. This is first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll go up now for second down. Shotgun now for Jones. That's going to be dropped underneath for Singletary. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. just covering up everything for the most part so once this ball was caught you really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds or pick up a modest game look him up on a second down and eight Jones to the air again that's caught over the middle by Johnson and he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five Wells making noise in Seattle before third down. Again, they'll throw with Jones. He'll try to run for it. And he will have a Giants first down. They wind up gaining eight on third and four.
Here's Jones to throw. They look middle here and get it to Neighbors. And he's brought down, but they are out of timeouts. So this now, a pressure spot for Greg Joseph. This to win the game. Now Seattle going to use the first of their timeouts. Joseph. This one, he's got to have. This kick is good. And that very likely will be a game winner. And that's just got to be a great feeling over on that sideline, Mike. I mean, an excellent job by this offense to give yourself a chance to win it. And then this kick. I mean, what's left to be said, it was never in doubt. And it's going to lead this team to a victory. Just one second, all that remains in the football game as the kick is away. From a yard deep, he's going to bring it out. And he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So a road win here for the Giants. They get themselves into field goal range for one final shot. Kicker delivers. They avoid overtime and come away with a three-point victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Oaks. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.